Descent of the Demon God by Hanjo Weolia Chapter 71 Notarize Part 1 Sub Hyung and Ko Wan Hyun, who were trying to escape after kidnapping Baek Jong So, Jiam O Yun, and Hwan Xia, had no choice but to delay their departure because it was urgent for them to treat their injuries. Late in the afternoon, in front of the Six Road Toys Bunker, weak branches soaked in oil burned. The dead bodies wrapped up in cloth were set on fire. Tack. Baek Jong So was standing close to the blazing fire, with a bitter expression. Sorry. Whatever it was, these were the people that he spent time and had meals with. Turning into close friends, he couldn't help but feel that they had died because of him. All this happened because I am weak. The supposed clan leader of one of the highest clans in the cult was still a super master level warrior. It's true that he wasn't taught and that he didn't have any teacher. However, he couldn't deny the truth that people were dying because of his helplessness. Grunt. He felt embarrassed about it. Baek jong so pulled out a paper from his pocket. Chen Yowen gave it to him. This is what you need the most right now. Reading what was written in it, Baek jong so was shocked. Pure Heart Method. It was a technique of the Pure Kick clan. Baek jong so had learned the basics of this method when he was still with his father, the former clan leader. But once his father left them, he ended up trying to use other methods to use this technique. Ah! Lord Chun Ma! Chun Yowen understood his feelings. If one knew of the pure heart method, one's cultivation and martial arts were bound to have an exemplary boost. It was written down on two sheets of paper, and on the back was energy cultivation. Burn this after memorizing it. All the instructions were given. Huan Yuan, Heaven and Earth, Cultivation Method? As he read what was written below it, his expression changed. Sure, the clan method for internal energy cultivation was very good, but this one, the Huan Yuan cultivation, looked very effective. What is this method? It was a method that Nano had created after analyzing all the multiple methods used in the Sky Demon Order, when Chen Yowen was in the academy. Baek jong so couldn't take his eyes off it. The cycle of energy through the center. Becoming one with Huan Yuan. Thud. Baek jong so immediately sat on the ground and took the stance of meditation. There was no such thing as having a guide to help him through this. Yet it had to be done, especially now that he knew what he had to do. Someone was watching it unfold from inside the bunker. I guess he isn't dumb. It was Chen Yowen. Chen Yowen had given him a slightly improved method. Based on the realization that the current age lacked the needed energy, he relied on Nano to make the necessary changes. Adjustment to an appropriate level. This method was for the present and the future. If a strong warrior looked at this method, he might die of shock. Chen Yowen had given him a treasure that no one knew about. Weak. Baek jong so who memorized it, threw the crumpled up paper into the fire. It must be because he himself had realized that this method shouldn't fall into others' hands. I need to make sure the others evolve as well. From Chen Yowen's point of view, the current cult lacked dedication. It was disorganized and pathetic. When Chen Yowen was the Lord, the whole cult was known to be strong, not just the Lord. Chuck. Chen Yowen turned back and closed the curtains. Behind him was a man who was sweating. It was Li Myong. Ah. Uh. A groan escaped from his mouth. He was in so much pain that the veins on his forehead were standing up. Cough. As he coughed, Blood dripped from the corner of his lips. In a dying voice, Li Myung asked. W.Y. should I use a cultivation method? I am not able to do it in the first place. What he was currently performing was the dance of the mind. It was something he had learned as a child, and he still remembered it. The problem was. It feels like all my blood vessels are torn. 
There was no choice but to go through the technique, despite the absence of internal energy. Suddenly one day, his body became unable to hold internal energy. And no one knew the cause of it. Ouch! He was trying to do the technique as Chen Youwen told him to, but the more he tried, the more it seemed like he was going to die. Deciding that he couldn't, he tried to stop. Tack! At that moment, Chen Youwen touched his Dan Tian. Ah? Shut your mouth and keep doing it. He was pushing internal energy into him. Li Myong was already trying to use the method without having any internal energy, and when energy was being pushed in from outside, the pain was much more horrible. Quiak. Li Myong ended up screaming. He was the man who was called a coward, so he tried struggling with pain, but it seemed like luck wasn't on his side. Chen Youwen put the other hand on his head. Start scanning. Red light flashed from his palm, and the scan began. Chen Youwen continued to scan the body while injecting energy. In his augmented reality, Li Myong's blood vessels were being scanned. I see. Chen Youwen nodded his head. As he expected, there were blocks in the vessels. They made it impossible for him to learn. The blood vessels of Li Myong, which normally would pass the energy, were blocked. Because of that, he couldn't build any internal energy within him. If it was solved, then Li Myong could start training internal energy in his body again. But there was one problem. Is it here? Chen Youwen looked at the chest. As he continued to infuse internal energy, heat was rising in the side of the chest. There was extreme yang. This is interesting. Chen Youwen smiled. Solar Yang Fever Li Myong's body was born with Yang Fever, which meant he produced too much Yang energy. It was the opposite to the Yin Fever, from which endless Yin energy was produced. And if things had gone wrong, Li Myong could have died when he was 18. It has to be fate for you to meet me. Quack. What are you? There is only one thing which can control the Yang Fever. Tack. Tack. Quack. Shut up, or you might actually die. Hmm. Tadic tack. Chen Yowen's fingers touched all the blood vessels. It wasn't the simple sealing, but it was to forcibly release the restricted part. Li Myong's blood vessels all had bulged out. Goo. As the restrictions on his body were lifted, the extreme yang energy in his body surged all through the body. His whole body turned as hot as a gas stove. Good. All that is left is. Pack. Quack. Chen Youwen placed his palm on the upper part of the Dantia and started to release energy into him. The temperature within the bunker dropped. JKKK. Frost began to form on the wall. It was as if the room had turned into the North Pole. SHHHHH. Aha! Uh -huh. Mist was released from Li Myong's body since he was burning seconds ago. Despite having extreme yang in him, his body was giving out. His energy couldn't stand against Chen Youwen, who possessed both yin and yang in him. What the hell? Manager Ko Wang Hyun, who was receiving treatment in the hospital, looked at the frozen bunker when he came back. The outer part of the bunker was frozen white. It was as if cold energy was released from inside. It has been like that for three hours now. Beck Jongso informed him. He had been watching the sudden event too. Suddenly, Ko Wang Hyun asked Beck Jongso. But you? Me? Something has changed. The energy coming from Beck Jongso looked stable. It was safe to say that Beck Jongso was at the end of Supermaster level. Did something happen? This would have been impossible to happen in such a short time. And it wasn't just Ko Wang Hyun who noticed it. What is that? Did his martial skills suddenly increase? Right Guardian was shocked too. There was no way anyone could refine their Dan Tian and show such remarkable growth in such a short time. 
Did Lord Chun Ma by any chance give, it was then. Huang. The door of the frozen bunker broke open, making everyone look at it. JJKKK. And someone appeared. Who? Shu. The person, whose body was releasing white steam, suddenly moved towards the right guardian. Fat. It was fast. In an instant, the person reached the right guardian. The shocking thing was, it was Li Myong. What is with him? The right guardian could not use his right hand as he had just had a surgery on it. Shit. Although he wasn't used to the left hand, he was at superior master level. So he pushed his left hand ahead and decided to hit Li Myong in the heart. Hack. Rather, his arm bounced back. Huh? It was frustrating. Obviously, this man had nothing to do with martial arts. But it was the right guardian's fist that bounced back. Tatak. Right guardian Subhyun immediately spread open the distance to avoid getting hit. However, Li Myung was able to follow him. Is he using footwork? Li Myung was chasing him by unfolding the footwork. Anger flashed in Subhyung's eyes. Are you really trying to get me mad? Subhyung raised his left hand. The crazy blade, which reacted to his energy, was pulled into his hand. Whoa! And with that, he began to unfold the technique. He quickly moved his body and unfolded the butterfly blade dance. At that, Li Myung's fists crossed, and a red light flashed. This? The energy seemed to be different, seeing how the color it displayed was red. What the hell is he? Just a few hours back, this man couldn't even do any martial arts. But now suddenly, he was able to stand against a superior master level. Papak. Li Myung extended his fist. It was the fourth form of Yan's united dance of fist, a technique of the Moyang clan. Cha-cha-cha. The sound of waves crashing resounded all over the place. The sophistication of the technique was superior to Subhyang's. However, because the Yang energy was so strong, whenever the blade touched Li Myung's energy, it would turn red in heat. Then, Subhyang opened the distance and aimed for the head. Clash! The sword caused afterimages and drew semicircles. Li Myung had no choice but to move back. Avoided this? Subhyang frowned. Li Myung had definitely avoided this attack on his own accord. Shu. Li Myung smiled. It had been a long time since he felt this good. I am able to deal with a warrior like him? He was shocked at himself. He hadn't used martial arts for nearly 15 years, but strangely, his body seemed free. His body was moving the same way he wanted it to. The power of the body used to the solar young fever. And with all the energy now opened inside his body, he felt like he could reach the state of superior master level and be on the same level as the strong Muram warriors. When he was unable to use martial arts, the right guardian had hurt him. And now, he was taking his revenge. Try again. With confidence, he provoked Sub Hyung. You really are. He took off the glasses and threw them to the floor. He decided that the opponent didn't have to be dealt with in moderation anymore. The moment they both were about to attack each other. Enough. Chen Yuan appeared between them and ordered. Lord Chen Ma. Shocked, Sub Hyung sheathed his blade and knelt on one knee. Chen Yuan looked at Li Myung, whose hands were dyed in red. You have given out enough energy, now go and cultivate it. Chen Yuan was the one who told him to go out and release his energy. Although Li Myung was healed, his body was still overflowing with Yang energy. It seemed like releasing it outside was the right way to decrease the built-up energy. I feel like I need to release it a bit more. However, despite Chen Yuan's words, Li Myung wanted to move more. His body was finally free after being shackled for half his life. There was no way he could hold back the angry emotions which he was holding back till then. 
I said you did enough. Lord. If it is with you, I might be able to draw out even more. Goo. With those words, Li Myon's body began to release intense energy. A red aura came out like a haze. Sizzle. Despite it being a chilly winter day, the entire area turned hot. Didn't he use all his energy against me? Sub Hyung was shocked. A human body radiating such extreme Yang energy. Sole Yang fever. That was when he understood. Why the bunker froze. Did the Lord cure him? Then that would explain the sudden growth in the ability. It was said that such a body would appear once a hundred years, yet those possessing it would be short-lived as such bodies were a curse to martial arts users. However, if one was lucky enough to live, then they would be the strongest warrior. I am coming. Li Myung rushed to Chen Yuan. Fat. Before one could notice, he was right in front of Chen Yuan. With that energy, he thought he would be able to deal with Chen Yuan to some extent before getting defeated. You could do nothing a second back. Huh? At that moment, Chen Yuan reached for the forehead and then flicked his finger. Flick to the forehead? The moment the finger flicked and touched his forehead. Bam. PSSS. Quack. Blood gushed out from the bruised forehead. With unbearable pain, Li Myung bounced back and broke past the outer wall of the bunker. Thud. Moyon Li Myung, who was thrown out, mumbled at the ridiculous strength. Mon, stir. Ugh. And passed out. Chapter 72. Notarize. Part 2. Shenyang Station, early in the morning. Thirty years ago, the trains and the underground subways weren't that greatly used. When the gates began to open, the cities ended up being closed off by walls. Therefore, the concept of trains changed. The trains worked underground. One would think that the station was below ground, but no, it was above ground. And one had to purchase a ticket to enter the basement platform. Everything of this era is great. Chen Yuan couldn't help but admire the underground platform. Even if Nano was helping him through the knowledge of the era, seeing it in person was a different feeling. So fun. Everything was different from the time he was from. Everything felt new and different, like he was on a tour. Unlike Chen Yuan, Ko Wang Haiyan and Sub Hyung were looking down. The purebred is out. Baek Jong So, his mother, and Huan Xia. They did come to the station, but they took a different platform. They were en route to Jinan City. The chairman will be disappointed. Among the high clans of the cult, the Pure Kick clan had a huge name. All factions were aiming to bring the mother and the only descendant of the Pure Kick clan. However, the Pure Kick clan had never chosen a faction to side with. Chun Ma. Who would have thought that he would appear? He meant a lot more than the clans. It was because Chen Yuan meant the Sky Demon Order itself. The chairman asked to bring him. Chairman Chen Yusong, who received the report from Ko Wang Haiyan, didn't harbor any doubt. Rather, he gave instructions to bring Chen Ma as respectfully as possible. If Chen Ma sides with the chairman, then the long battle would end. If that could happen, then the cult would be reborn. Ko Wang Haiyan avoided the gaze of Chen Yuan, who was looking around and sent a message through his phone. We are starting now. At the same time. Inside a building of the Chunshin Group, southeast of Baoding City. Several officials were gathered in the chairman's office on the top floor of the building. HRR. Sitting on the right, a middle-aged man with a sad look, gray hair and a blue shirt, looked at the vibrating screen. Chairman. Manager Ko Wang Haiyan reported. At the report, the mustached middle-aged man sitting at the top, nodded. In front of him was a nameplate. Chairman Shin Song Yu of Chun Shin Group. But his real name was Chen Yu Song. The eldest son of Chun Wu Jin, the imprisoned lord of the Sky Demon Order. 
and this faction was known to be the strongest among the three. Chairman. Is that person really right? Why are you suspicious? Mong? The middle-aged man in glasses sitting in the second left seat was the managing director Mong John Mu. Clan leader of the Dream Sword clan, one of the highest clans. There is truth to Mong John Mu's words. It isn't that I don't believe in their judgments, but there is nothing wrong with being careful. Said the man with a large nose who was sitting on the other side. He was Sam Mok Young. Director of the Chunshin group and clan leader of the Samu clan. At those words, a bald middle-aged man with white eyebrows opposed it. But if he is Chun Ma, then we have amazing strength. Yang Jamiang, the managing director. Clan leader of North Demon Clan. Isn't that evidence that Chun Ma is helping us? Vice Chairman. The person sitting next to Chen Yusong was the vice chairman of the Chun Shin group. Thick eyebrows and thick lips. Exuding great energy from his voice. He was Wang Xin. Clan leader of the Martial Dual Sword Clan. He was one of the three strongest warriors in the cult after the Lord Chun Wu Jin and Great Guardian Marakian. Initially, this clan didn't belong to the cult, but the clan leader Wang Jing had brought it under the cult during the time of Chen Yuan. Maybe heaven is helping us? For the Great Guardian and the Left Guardian who were wandering around for 27 years in search of that secret prison to be joining us. At Wang Xin's words, Chen Yusong smiled. It happened a while ago. Both the Great Guardian and the Left Guardian asked him to become the new Lord. Father, no, the Lord didn't allow this, would it still be fine? We can no longer allow the Lord's position to remain empty. Chairman Chen Yusong, the eldest son, should be the one taking the role and reintegrate our cult. The confrontation between the three factions had lasted for too long. The Great Guardian, who judged that it would be difficult for the cult to stay alive without a lord, decided to unite it. In the end, in order to rebuild the cult, someone had to be crowned the lord, so they decided to give that role to the eldest person, Chen Yusong. The vice chairman continued. This is Chen Yuan we are talking about. Besides, if it is the former lord who notarizes the ceremony of the chairman, wouldn't that be the best? Wang Xin spoke loudly again. Most people in the room nodded their heads. But some didn't. Shouldn't we be thinking what would happen if Chen Ma decides not to notarize this or has already sided with another faction? One of the people in the room strongly pointed out. Clearly, that would be the worst case scenario for them. Looking at the members, Chen Yusong mumbled. I'll make it happen somehow. At around 9 at night, an underground high-speed train had arrived in Baoding City. Chen Yuan looked a bit bored as he wasn't used to being inside tunnels. But it is fast. He just wasn't used to sitting still for 14 hours. But this looked better than moving on horses, and the scenery around did look nice. The gates seemed to have taken a lot. He knew that due to the gate, people of this era lost a lot. General Manager, Ko Wang Haiyan, led Chen Yuan to the platform. The car is waiting outside. Let's go. As they climbed up to the first floor on the escalator, he heard voices. What a big chest. How long do I have to wait here? I told you not to call me like that. If you are so dissatisfied with it, then I'll just call you something else. You really? Be silent for two minutes please. Chen Yuan groaned. They arrived. Huh? Ko Wang Haiyan wondered about what Chen Yuan said, but he knew it. Vice Chairman. Master. Two women were waiting outside and approached them. They were Chen Yuan's exclusive secretaries, Yu Sowa the Gravity Witch and Shakina. As they were so beautiful, people kept looking back as they passed them. Lord Chen Ma. Who are those women, uh? You. Ko Wang Haiyan couldn't hide his shock when he found someone following the woman. It was by Mac Hien. There was no way that he didn't know the man. 
He was from the upper sect of the Phantom Sword clan. Manager Ko. Chuck. That was the same with by Makian, who reached for his sword. They were now in a hostile relationship. Seeing each other, they couldn't hold back raising their energy. How dare you set foot in here? At Ko Wang Hian's words, by Makian said. You are speaking as if I entered a place I shouldn't have. Ah, so Chen Yusong has to be in Baoding and not Beijing, manager Ko Wang Hian. At those words, Ko Wang Hian's eyes flared. It seems like you don't want to go back alive. It was true that Bai Makian was from a higher clan, but he was at super master level when Ko Wang Hian was at superior master level. So he was confident that he could defeat Bai Makian. It was then. Harassing him. Human? Shakina intervened. It was because she sensed the energy flowing from Ko Wang Hian. I don't know who this lady is, but if she is involved. Swash. Quack. At that moment, Shakina's hand turned transparent and dug into Ko Wang Hian's chest. Her phasing ability. W what is this? Grab. Quack. She grabbed his heart. Startled at the sudden pain, he wasn't sure what happened. But the only thing he could understand was that a slight harm to the people on her side, and she would crush his head. Quack. Quack. Shakina, who looked at Chen Youwan while grabbing Ko Wang Hian's heart, asked with a bright smile. Master. This human. Can I kill him? I am acting as your slave. With those words, Shakina licked her lips. She seemed like she wanted to kill the man, who seemed strong. W what is that expression? Ko Wang Hian's face turned pale as he looked at the woman, who looked like a hungry predator. Chen Yuan responded to her. No. Fine. She pulled out her hand right away. Thud. Ko Wang Hian, who managed to stay alive, fell down to the floor in cold sweat. That woman. What is she? Even the right guardian was shocked. Her abilities were terrifying and dangerous to exist. Who? She didn't seem like a warrior. And Chen Yuan wasn't explaining anything. Secretaries will accompany me. It shouldn't matter, right? Yes? Secretaries? Right Guardian looked at Shakina with a puzzled expression. The woman who could easily take down a superior master-level warrior was just a secretary? A restaurant located to the east of Baoding City. A scenery of a small lake. A wonderful place decorated with nice pictures. It was a place where lovers would usually hang out. However, men in suits with weapons in their arms were inside. It seemed like a group of people had arrived there. Around 10 that night. Kick. A gray van arrived at the parking lot. Men in suits, who were walking in and out, rushed ahead and stood in line. Click. The van's door opened. Manager Ko Wang Hian and the right guardian got out. We are here. Hmm. And then came Chen Yuan in his black suit. On either side were his two secretaries, and by Mac Hian following them. Looking around, Chen Yuan asked. Not at the company? Chairman Chen Yusong wanted to invite you to a meal, since you must have been through a lot to come here. That so? Is he the one? In the restaurant, ten middle-aged men walked up and stood in front of Chen Yuan. Tack. The chairman was the one who was standing in the front. And the rest were all middle-aged people of the Chunshin group. Obviously, as they gathered, the air around turned heavy. SH. Chen Yusong glanced at the vice chairman who was next to him. Wang Shen nodded his head and sent a message. Right. Among them, Wang Shen was the strongest. The moment Wang Shen saw Chen Yuan, he was confused. From the outside, he looked like a normal warrior. However, this meant that Chen Yuan had reached a level where he could freely manipulate the energy. 
and the simple verification was done. Pack. Chen Yusong knelt on both knees and shouted. Chen Yusong greets the great Chun Ma. Thud. Once he said that, the other members who were behind all bowed down in the same way. We greet the great Chun Ma. Perfect execution. Chen Yusong, who already knew about Chen Youwen's attitude from Ko Wang Haiyan, was fully prepared not to anger him. And the start didn't seem so bad. Chen Youwen, the Chen Ma. Chen Yusong wanted to obtain the notary of this person and be crowned the Lord. I need to make it happen. That was his real goal. At that time, Chen Yusong's body was raised up by energy. Ugh. As his body flew, Chen Youwen approached him. He thought that Chen Youwen would feel nice seeing his bloodline act respectfully towards him. Chen Youwen looked at him with curious eyes and said, It is fine to be polite. But why do I feel like you are trying to play some tricks? Chapter 73 Notarize Part 3 Chen Yusong looked at Chen Youwen with a puzzled expression. It was as if nothing could be hidden. No. How can I do that to the great Chen Ma, my ancestor? Chen Yusong looked at Chen Youwen with scared eyes. Chen Youwen, who was looking at him suspiciously, calmed down. Whoa. Once the energy surrounding his body disappeared, Chen Yusong was able to move freely. Thank you. Chen Yusong bowed 90 degrees to show respect. His eyes, which were looking at the ground, narrowed. We can't act vigilantly. Chen Yusong sighed. He was grateful that he had run too many simulations in his mind for this situation. If it wasn't for the simulations, he would have failed before even starting. A legend is a legend. Too sharp. He thought that getting the notarization might be difficult. Chen Youwen didn't have a single ounce of trust in his eyes. However, he wasn't hostile either. I can't read his thoughts. But I am sure that he doesn't have any trust in me. Convincing this kind of person was the most difficult. However, all the preparations were done. Hmm. Chen Youwen's eyes looking at the bowing Chen Yusong had a questionable expression. Everything seemed to be the opposite of what he was told. I am sorry to say this as he is from our bloodline, but the eldest son, Chairman Chen Yusong, is really frivolous. There are many rumors that the second son Chen Yu Jiang would be the one to take over the position of the Lord as the eldest son has no talent in martial arts. Those were the words GM Ouyan had said. From what he heard, the eldest son was weak. It was wrong. He is better at martial arts than Chen Yu Jiang. The energy he felt was all the proof he needed. He was on the verge of reaching the end stage of superior master level. In addition, he calculated every move. Lord Chen Ma. Our chairman has changed. Now, more than anyone else, he wants to save the cult. That was what Ko Wang Haiyan had said to Chen Youwen. Did the man really change? Chen Yusong, who got up, bowed politely again. Ancestor. Why don't we go inside instead of staying here? We have prepared a meal too. Although the lights were on, the outside wasn't the right place to talk. And when Chen Youwen's permitted it, Chen Yusong directly led him to the restaurant. The layout of the room was unique. There were three rooms, but each had sliding walls in between. This room had three tables. A long table with only two seats facing each other. And then, two small tables were placed for a large number of people to sit. Next to the room was an open kitchen where chefs in white clothes were preparing the dishes. Tack tack. The sound of a knife hitting the board and the smell of soup boiling filled the room. Please sit here. Chen Yusong guided him to the table with just two seats. Secretaries and those. Chen Yusong looked at by Mac Hien. It was because he knew that that man belonged to the Chen Yujang faction. It has been long, Chairman. Hu Hu, you are pretty bold. Coming here with our ancestor. 
I only serve Lord Chen Ma. I hope you understand that we cannot give you a seat close to our ancestor. It was something he couldn't understand. Bai Makian was in the middle of an enemy camp. But he didn't say anything, just a little sign of nervousness here and there. Since the relationship in the family isn't that great, would it be fine for him and the secretaries to sit at the table over there? Chen Yusong asked Chen Youwen for permission. It didn't matter, so Chen Youwen nodded, but Shakina mumbled. I want to sit next to Master. Of course, it wasn't because she was worried about him. She just didn't want to be away from him. Even if we are at different tables, we are eating in the same space, so I hope the beautiful secretaries will understand. Chen Yusong spoke in a polite and soft manner. He kind of liked the exotic-looking woman. The love for beauty was something all men had in common. However, Shakina didn't care about that, so she turned away with a frowning expression and mumbled under her breath. What did you say? You human subject. Huh? For a moment, he doubted his ears. But because he was in front of Chen Youwen, he didn't react. Like Shakina, Yu Sowa had a blunt expression as well. She bowed before heading to the third table with Esakina. Arrogant ones. Chen Yusong clicked his tongue and Saturday oolong tea, sir. Poor. As they sat down, a pretty woman in a waitress costume came over and poured the hot tea for Chen Youwen. Once everyone was seated, Chen Yusong said. Each of us will greet the Chen Ma one after another, sir. As if waiting, people began to come to introduce themselves and greet him. The first one was, of course, Wang Shen, the vice chairman. Pa. Kneeling on one knee and bowing, he said. Wang Shen of the dual martial sword clan. It is an honor to meet Lord Chen Ma, who took us in. Oh ho. Chen Youwen's eyes lit up. He had indeed invited Wang Jing to his cult and given him the position of great elder, but he hadn't settled in the cult yet. Now it was a clan under the cult. He is supposed to be the best. In his time, Wang Jing was one of the five strongest warriors. And he was now probably the strongest in the cult. The other people began to stand up and introduce themselves too. I am John Mu of the Dream Swordsmanship Clan. It is an honor to meet the great Chen Ma. When all the seniors finished the greetings, Chen Yusong pointed to the bald man with no hair, who looked like a chef. I forgot about the most important person. This is the chef. He is a famous chef who received three Michelin stars in his career as the main chef in the five-star hotels of Beijing. As his cooking suits my taste, I often come here. At Chen Yusong's words, the man bowed. Yeo Mun Hyung. We look forward to delicious dishes. Yes, Chairman. Chef Yeo Mun Hyung answered with a smile and returned to cooking. From the kitchen side, employees were busy moving around bringing dishes to the dinner table. The start of the meal was soup. This is the crab meat soup. Please have some. Ancestor. When the waiter put down the dish, Chen Yusong invited Chen Youwen to try it. While everyone was waiting for him to raise his spoon and take a spit, Chen Youwen shook his head and asked. Enough about the food, get to the point. Huh? I heard that you didn't eat anything on the train. Did you think I came to see you and have dinner with you? The atmosphere within the room, which was supposed to be brightened and happy, turned gloomy at the cold tone. This won't be easy. Chen Yusong was trying to create a relaxed atmosphere through food and alcohol. But Chen Youwen didn't look like he wanted any of those. Sigh, we can't help it. Start from why I was called here. Chen Yusong stood up at Chen Youwen's question. Tack. He knelt and bowed his head. Lord Chen Ma must have met with Chen Yu Jang, so I think you are aware of the current situation of the cult. A total mess. At that, Chen Yusong banged his head on the floor. Chen Youwen's eyes narrowed at the sudden action. What are you doing? Forgive me. All this happened because of my weakness. 
If I had not been stupid and had managed to be strong, the cult would have never been divided. The man seemed to have accurate judgment. When the Lord was taken away, if he had the strength to maintain such a strong position in the absence of the Lord, this split in the cult would have never happened. You seem to have realized it quite quickly. I have no excuses. Even if I have to be punished, I will accept it. This one. A completely different attitude from Chen Yu Jiang. This guy was the kind to grab hold of people. Tack. When Chen Yu Song, who was bowing, snapped his fingers, a member standing at the entrance came in with a briefcase. He took out a tablet PC from it and placed it in front of Chen Yuan. A PDF document was displayed on it. And this is? Chen Yu Song answered. Please read it. The title was written on the first page of the PDF document. Sky Demon Order Resurrection Plan. Chen Yuan tapped on the tablet and turned over the pages. In the PDF document, the plans to revive the Sky Demon Order by the Chen Yusong faction were planned in detail. Shu. Shu. Is he even reading it? The pages were being turned too fast. It was practically just flipping through it within seconds, and everyone wondered if he was really reading it. 100 PDF pages within two minutes. After reading all that, Chen Yuan smiled. This is your plan? Yes. Unlike before, Chen Yusong looked at Chen Yuan with nervous eyes. If he read the PDF, then everything was written in detail. More than 70% of the plan was done. I am well aware that my ancestor cannot turn a blind eye to the mistakes we made. However, please, give me a chance. Even if it means for me to take a punishment, I will be sure to bring the cult back to life. Thud. Chen Yusong banged his head on the floor once again. He wanted to move Chen Yuan's heart as much as he could. Perfect plan. It was a proud plan. If the plan could be executed, the Sky Demon Order would be able to rise again. He thought that since Chen Yuan was the ancestor, he wouldn't ignore it. If it is for the sake of reviving the cult, then he has no choice but to help me out. Even if... You were a legend in the past, you aren't the lord of this time. And if Chen Yuan agreed to help, the plan would go much faster. He was, after all, one of the three strongest legends of the cult. What will he do? At that point, Chen Yuan picked up the tablet and said. It sounds pretty good. At Chen Yuan's words, Chen Yusong's face brightened. You understand. But Chen Yuan cut off his words. However, the first premise of all these plans is that you become the Lord, right? Yes. The basic premise for unifying the cult. Since everyone was fighting for that position, it felt natural that he wanted to be appointed as the Lord. That way, the conflict between the three factions would come to an end. The conflict between the three will lead to endless bloodshed. A reasonable statement. Chen Yuan asked, in a colder voice. So, you will take the Lord position of the cult first, without even reintegrating the cult. Once we release that order, we can bring back the members of the cult. Who talked about this order? Chen Yusong smiled at the question and answered. The Great Guardian, Order of the Sky Demon, had agreed to do it. The one who proposed it was the Great Guardian. The Great Guardian had the authority to use the Order of the Sky Demon and select the next Lord, if the current one was absent. Once the Order of the Sky Demon is activated, the cult members of the two other factions wouldn't be able to deny it. Chen Yusong's Hidden Card One could never imagine how much it cost him to convince the Great Guardian to agree to this. The Order of Sky Demon has the seal of the first Chen Ma. No one could resist it except for one person, Chen Ma, because he held the title of Chen Ma. If Chen Yuan didn't acknowledge it, then everything would be in vain. However, if thought the other way, if Chen Yuan was to agree to it, then all the members of the other factions would willingly come under Chen Yusong. Thud. Chen Yusong banged his head. 
Please lend me your strength so we can unite the cult before any more bloodshed happens. Please notarize the inauguration as Lord. Thud. Thud. At his cry, the other cult members fell on the floor, banged their heads, and pleaded. Please notarize it. Everyone asked with earnestness. However, Chen Yusong, who was bowing his head to the ground, didn't have that kind of expression. His lips turned into a smile. This is the right atmosphere. If you really care about the cult, you wouldn't be able to deny this request. Chapter 74 Notarize Part 4 The plan was laid properly. Chen Yusong wasn't reckless. Only one chance. If Chen Yuan didn't allow it, then he could use it against him and put him in a bad light. Yes or no? He waited for Chen Yuan's answer. Everything depended on it. And Chen Yuan opened his mouth. Stop rolling your head to make things work out only for you. The result was negative. Chen Yusong erased his obedient face and raised his head. Are you going to act emotional at this time? Are you sure that you didn't ask an unreasonable request, which is only in your favor? Nothing can be done. Shu. Chen Yusong got up from his seat and snapped his finger. Snap. Changes occurred in the seat where Chen Yuan was sitting. A transformation occurred in the floor with a 2 meters radius. Red LED lights turned on, and a noise was heard from the floor. Clang. Clang. The lights in the restaurant weakened due to the enormous power consumption. Is this another joke? Hoo-hoo, I have no malice towards the ancestor. Because of your nature, I did expect this kind of answer to some extent. I knew you wouldn't go along with this. With that, Chen Yusong looked at someone. It was the chef, Yeo Mun Hyung. With the blink of an eye, he extended his hand towards Chen Yuan. JKKK. Everything around Chen Yuan froze, except for the head. Chen Yuan couldn't move. Huh? Chen Yusong smiled. Did you think that I didn't prepare anything against you, the legend of the cult? The chair where Chen Yuan was sitting had a device installed in it. It had handcuffs which blocked the internal energy, like the ones used by the Public Security Bureau. However, the effect was 100 times greater. And in order to restrain Chen Yuan, the greatest warrior, they were using electricity from one kilometer of the area. Even if you are my ancestor, we can't let you go around. How dare you? By Mac Hien, tried to get up. Chuck. Don't move. Mon John Mu placed his sword on his neck and warned him. The same with Shakina and Yusowa. The highest members in the faction appeared and placed their swords on their necks. I really didn't want to use swords against pretty girls. Samak Yang warned. At that time, Yusowa looked at the chef and said. Ice demon. Huh. I guess you weren't just an ordinary secretary. Chen Yusong was amazed when she named him. The chef Yeo Mun Hyun was a talented person with a long past. The face had changed a lot, so the only way to recognize it was with the abilities. How is he? Ice Demon. He had the ability to create an ice storm in an area of 100 meters. Even before the SS class was introduced, he held a reputation for being an S-class keeper. He was so talented that people said if the SS class was present at that time, he would be the first one. He is supposed to be in prison. The man disappeared eight years ago. Supposed to be imprisoned in a secret prison for using his abilities to kill civilians. Chen Yusong looked at Chen Yuan and said. The guardians weren't the only ones who tried to save my father who was being imprisoned. I searched for a long time as well. And he found this man when he was searching in the secret prisons. Chen Yusong looked at someone who stood behind Chen Yuan and said. Start it. Yes. The woman who poured him tea, supposedly an employee, seemed to be a servant of Chen Yusong. She approached Chen Yuan, whose body was frozen. 
What are you trying to do? I don't intend to harm you, Lord Chun Ma. I am just trying to change your perception of me. Change my perception? She has the ability to manipulate others' memories. A dangerous ability. She and the chef were imprisoned in the secret prison. We can't let such good people rot in prison, right? Chen Yusong asked. She was the reason he didn't mind meeting Chen Youwen. In case of rejection, the plan was to manipulate Chen Youwen's memory. I can get my hands on the demon god. His lips slowly turned into a smile, just thinking about it. The female employee asked him. How should I change it? Hmm, I'd love to have a teacher who cares for me. He took into account the eyes of others. It was impossible to keep Chen Youwen as his subordinate. So all he needed was to make Chen Youwen follow him. After she thought of a specific manipulation of memory, she took Chen Youwen's hand. That was when Chen Youwen said. Is the reason why I couldn't feel the demonic energy also a part of the plan? Chen Yusong answered while laughing. Ha ha ha, isn't that obvious? If our ancestor commanded us to harm ourselves, we would have done it as you possess the sky demon energy, we can't do that. Chen Yusong was prepared. Despite the fact that the demonic energy could amplify martial arts, he discarded it. To be free from the control of the sky demon order. Forgive my disloyalty. If the cult is brought back, I will surely ask for forgiveness. Chen Yusong wasn't hiding his feelings anymore. He felt happy that he managed to trap Chen Youwen, a great lord, with his plan. Forgiveness? Chen Youwen sighed. A look of disappointment. Chen Yusong, who was convinced that he won, joked. I am sure those emotions will turn into affection, you won't do. Huh? It was then. Quack. The female employee who reached out to Chen Youwen, coughed up blood. And with a pale face, she grabbed her chest, stepping backward as she fell down. Ah. She screamed as she convulsed. What? What is with her? My heart, my heart, Kayak. Chen Yusong was shocked at that, but that wasn't the end. JJKKK. A crack appeared in the ice covering Chen Youwen's body. Chen Yusong was dumbfounded. How is this? An industrial machine was the one drawing the electricity. Chen Youwen shouldn't be able to move as he couldn't draw out his internal energy. Damn it. Yeo Mun Hyung, who noticed that, reached out to him. Wing. Cold ice rushed for Chen Youwen, and this time, it was aiming to cover the entire body. It was then, Chen Youwen's body began to burn up and burst into flames. Weak. F fire? The heat radiating from his body was beyond one's imagination. The ice turned into water and then evaporated. Swoo. Flustered, Yeo Mun Hyung tried to draw more power. At that time, his body was lifted and pulled into Chen Youwen's hand. Grab. Kwake. A cook should be used to the flames. Weak. Kwak. Fire flowed from the hand which was holding the chef. Even when he tried to cool his body with ice, the difference between the two wasn't something the chef could handle. Weak. Kwayak. Flames engulfed the body. The chef screamed and screamed, trying to get away from the grasp of Chen Youwen until his body turned to nothing but ashes. PSSSS. Chen Youwen threw the head, which wasn't burned, to the ground. And then trampled it with his feet. Crush. And no way. Shocked, Chen Yusong got up. Chen Youwen turned his head towards him and stepped forward. Bang. Patchik. Sparks shone from the cracked floors. The air conditioning in the room, which had been installed, was destroyed. How did this happen? Despite having a thorough plan, he wasn't able to control Chen Youwen. How could one not be affected by so many forces? It wasn't just that which shocked him. Puck. Quack. 
When he turned his head, he saw an officer employee lying on the floor with Shakina clutching a bloody heart. And she asked with a bright smile. Master. Can I eat it? W what, crazy bitch. Shocked, the others tried to attack her. Bang. Quack. They all ended up turning suppressed by the gravity and crushed to the floor. It was you, Sowa, who caused it. Quack. Super master level warriors couldn't even lift their heads, and when one person tried to get up, you Sowa lifted her finger. Bang. Quack. The body dug deeper into the ground. The others could hear the sound of bones being crushed. Damn those bitches. He thought they were normal secretaries, but they were monsters. It was absurd. Chen Yuan reached close to him, exuding intimidating energy. Hick. Confused, Chen Yusong tried to step back, but his body didn't move. It wasn't out of fear. And my body. The profound energy was what was holding him. And it was obvious who was doing it. Realizing that he was done for, he changed his tactics. A ancestor. He tried to kneel down and beg. Chuck. At that moment, he felt something, and when he looked down, a red line appeared on his thighs. A straight horizontal line. Chen Yusong's body, which had both legs cut off, fell forward. Thud. He was in terrible pain. Quiak. Ak. Gulp. Chen Yuan stepped on Chen Yusong's head who was writhing in pain, and pressed on it. He stepped on it so hard that it looked like the head would burst. Quiak. A ancestor. Please, please. Forgive me. Press. He begged and begged, but the leg didn't. Quiak. Ancestor. Ancestor. I am your blood descendant. Blood descendant of you. In a cold voice, Chen Yuan responded. So what?